that's Omi. That's Omi's, yeah. Yeah, and that's one's more. You already put one down to Omi's, didn't you? Good, okay. And look, one of the flowers of the roses is actually growing now. It's flowered. And these are actually, this variety is called Eva, like my mum's name. So that is very, very beautiful. Hello. Um, we're um, currently at the graveyard at the cemetery. Got some nice flowers for my mum. Look. It is going to be a very strange day. Um, just a few days ago, we tried to extend Mark's visa, but it didn't work. So he actually, today is um, first out. He has to leave Germany in the Schengen area. Um, uh, until Saturday. So that was a massive bummer. We were very stressed to try and organize something. We found that there is a bilateral agreement between Australia and Germany where in theory he should be having his Schengen stay for the 90 days and then come back 90 days but just in Germany. Like he wouldn't be able to travel anywhere but he should be allowed for another 90 days in Germany. So Hopefully that works. So short notice we just tried to book something that goes out of the Schengen area. So he's booked a flight tomorrow morning to Scotland, Glasgow, and he'll hopefully return. Well, he will return on the Monday and hopefully they will let him in. So yeah, we were all a bit stressed because if it doesn't work, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh. Immigration office, they were stupid to start with. They didn't even know about it like we showed them. So I don't know, it's all a bit up in the air. So here I am at my mum's grave asking her to help us. <laughs> Hopefully for it to all go smoothly. And um, we'll see. So yeah, Mark's going to go today on the bus up to Berlin. The flight's from Berlin. So he's leaving today, has one night stay there, right at the airport. And then he can just go to the airport tomorrow morning. Because we can't have any stuff up. So is he, if, he, if he doesn't leave tomorrow... He will be overstaying his visa and there's no chance for him to come back. There he is, the illegal alien. Pretty stressful to be honest. Mm. Anyway, off I go. To? To, you know, where I never really wanted to go. So this was the situation we found ourselves in. And even though we were stressed, we really tried to still keep things calm around the girls and do things they enjoy. My brother came for a visit which the girls were stoked about. It was very cute seeing them together and I do wish this could happen more often. But Australia is our home and that is where we will go back to in a few months time. And very quickly it was time for Mark to head to the bus station to start his visa run with his still very uncertain outcome. There we go, we're at the... Um, <laughs> at the central bus station oh, and we'll work it out. Can we come please? <laughs> Feels good. Well, the adventure's uh, beginning. In a few days. Good luck. Well, what does that say? Bye-bye. 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 Oh, there. Here's that. You can see him. Bye-bye. Mark's gone on the bus. I'm here with the girls and look, it's only going to be hopefully until Monday, but the thing is, we don't actually know. It could be until Monday and it could be until bloody mid of September that we get to see him again. Bless you. So it was actually quite sad. And um, yeah, and it's stressful. We'll do some things like normal stuff for the kids, but Izzy already said like she was a dad. And, she wanted to go on the bus as well. No. Oh. Ah, oh, it's hard. On top of that, my um, granddad had a stroke a couple of weeks ago, and it's going really downhill right now. And he's back in hospital. It's not looking good. Why would so there you go. So it was just my dad and I seeing the day out together. It was a very calm and nice evening. The next morning, I received the call. Oh dear, guys. Um, it's happened. My granddad died. 
Yeah. I will have 15 minutes ago. The 5th of August. My OP, your OP. 5th of August. My mum died on the 5th as well. Oh dear. Okay. life just keeps going on. Now I'm gonna make lunch for these two. <laughs> Ma? Yes. There's granddad. There's granddad died. Granddad died as well. Mark's dad died a month ago. My granddad died just then. Where's your granddad? He's just turned into a stammer now. And life did just go on. It always does. And unfortunately by now, we had quite some practice with this sort of thing. We did spend the afternoon with my uncle and his family, which was so nice. The kids had a lot of fun there, jumping on the trampoline, running around in the garden, playing with their great-grandma and swimming in the pool. In hindsight, we couldn't have spent this day and the next few days any better. Just being around family and friends, people who genuinely care, is such a supportive and grounding experience during such a vulnerable time. As sad as it was, it was also good for the soul. It is Sunday. Tomorrow is the day we'll find out if Mark can come back. My dad and I will be heading out this morning. We're going to a little place called Weidenburg, which is, I didn't grow up there, but I did go to school there and I had all my friends there. So we're going to have a little look around a tiny little place. And I, you know, I don't get to do that very often. Maybe this might be the last time. So um, we're going to have a look. Just me and the girls, show them where we went to school, where I used to hang out, where I lived. So that's what we're going to do. I used to live in there when I was a young girl. The boarding house and this there, this is the school. I used to go here. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I'm reminiscing, um, good old times. Anyway, we, um, there's the castle behind us and we decided spontaneously we're going to go in there. The castle itself wasn't open, but the cafe was pretty. Didn't even know. Yeah, I was trying to go back in all the footsteps and find something new. All right, we are we are at our last and final stop on this little journey into the past. This is um, called Grunefelder Park. So it's um, obviously a park. Um, back in the day, some English sort of I don't even know lord or whatever came here. And he made this thing. It's huge and it's pretty. And um, I used to come here a lot, and I used to have a dog back in the day. So I walked the dog along here. And um, oh, it's just nice being here. It's, it's been such a big part of my growing up life, young adult life. It's very nice. Now I'm here with both of my girls.
the afternoon, we went to visit my other uncle and auntie and again got to spend some time with good food and wonderful company in the outdoors, feeling comforted and somehow in peace. It's the 8th of August today and today is the day um, Mark's trying to re-enter Germany. It should just work really, but because we've got no definite confirmation anywhere, it still just it feels a bit up in the air. Right now we're going to the city, just to kill some time. It's terrible sitting here waiting. Alright, so Mark should be landing at 10 to 2 this afternoon. And then hopefully within an hour after landing I'll get a phone call that he's in. Okie dokie. Well, wish us luck, fingers crossed. See you later. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shining every color. Mark scored. He's gotten a new stamp. He's back in Germany. And um, we're going to go and pick him up this evening. Yeah, he can show you when he comes back. Oh, that's a relief. Well, that's really good. We're ready. We're going to pick up Mark now. Are we excited? Yes! Forever 